Okay, I suppose that you have gone through the question and you have understood what the examiner uh, requires of you. Okay, so I guess we can do it together. So you meant to get the NPV for this particular project. Okay, you meant to get the NPV uh, for this project. And the following are the details regarding the company. Okay. Mm -hmm. The company sales will be as follow. Mm -hmm. The demand will be one point uh, the demand will be one point four uh, all the way to one point seven. Uh, however, the maximum output for the new machine is 600,000. can produce more than that. Uh, the current machine, if be told, can only produce until mm -hmm. 1 million. And the, the new machine, the, the current machine, or the existing machine of the company is 1 million. Therefore, the total combined production capacity of these two machines is how much? Sakina? 1.6. 1.6 million, therefore the combined uh, production for these two machines is 1.6 million, which implies therefore in year four, uh, even though the demand is 1.7, we can only produce 1.6 million. Okay, that's the thing to note uh, regarding uh, maybe year four. Okay, therefore, the time is for the, our first working, therefore, can be this is duo company, first working can be on the incremental uh, contribution. Okay, that's first working, we need to get the incremental uh, contribution. Okay, so? but first. Yes. Uh, how did you get 1.6 million again? The production capacity of the new machine is how much? Production capacity of the new machine is how much? So maximum. Yes, yes, yes. The maximum it can produce. 600. The old machine, how much can it produce? The current machine, how much can it produce? Yes. Below um, the demand. Just below the demand. It says one million. One million. The two combined was your total maximum production. Oh, okay. One point six. Okay. One point six million. Okay. Therefore, incremental contribution we begin by getting the incremental uh, first the incremental units. Okay, therefore year one, year two, year three, year four. Uh, one the new machine produces the extra, so one million, one point four million minus one million. Okay, the in year two, one point five million minus the one million that is being produced by the old machine. Okay, then one point six million minus one million, then one point six million minus one million. So they will together therefore the incremental units be produced by the new machine. Okay, we'll be told that the selling price per unit will be equal to uh, $8 per, cake, per kilogram. However, there'll be some variable cost being cut, which is equal to, okay, five, then there's the $5, five, the cost of material will be five, then you have other production cost for 1.9, therefore plus 1.9. This will give therefore total uh, variable cost, okay, and therefore, the contribution per unit, the contribution per unit therefore is eight minus uh, uh, five plus 1.9. That that's given therefore the contribution per unit. Then you multiply by the number of units from year one all the way to year five, okay? Excuse me, sir. Yes? Uh, why are you minusing one million from 1.4 million? Uh, because we want to determine the new machine, isn't it? We want to analyze the new machine. We are analyzing the new machine, not the old machine, but the new machine. The old machine produced one million. So therefore, what does the new machine, how many units does the new machine produce? The extra. Okay, thank you. It's clear. Okay, the whole you get year one all the way to year four to the incremental contribution. Hundred and forty thousand for forty thousand year two for fifty thousand six sixty thousand and six sixty 
that was the end of the, of the contribution uh, to be earned between year one and year four. Forget, of course, we're assuming that uh, they'll be earned the same, same year. Okay, that assumption that you're making here. Okay. Um, then you'll be told that the, the fixed production cost will be 240 in the first year, increasing by 20 in, the, in years later. Okay, that's an easy one to work out. Uh, tax will be one in arrears at that percent. The allowance is 25% on reducing balance basis. A balance allowance will be, uh, can be claimed in the final year. Okay, therefore, the next working can be on tax saving. Okay, on the capital allowances. On the capital allowances. So, first, we need to get the capital allowances. Okay, for year one or the two, year four, year one, year two. Yeah, three, yeah, four. It's based on a reduced balance basis, which is 25% of the cost of the asset. And the cost of this machine is 800,000. Therefore, the allowance for year one, therefore, is 20,000. The balance, 6,000. We claim 25% of it. Yeah, therefore, 150,000. Balance is for 50,000. We claim 25% of it. Give us. One trail five hundred, I guess. And the final is year four. We claim what is remaining, the balance in allowance. Okay. Don't get the balance in allowance. The total amount you can claim is what you spent, and you spent eight hundred thousand minus what you got back if there's any disposal. Uh, the machine is going to be disposed at the end of year four for that thousand. Therefore, the net expenditure of the company is seven seventy thousand. Okay, that's here. Okay, great. Okay, so what do you get? One fifty seven, one fifty. So EF4, 157, 150? Yes. Yeah, are you sure? I, why, do, I, why do I doubt that answer, Brian? I'm doubting that answer. Not sure why, but I'm doubting it. Uh, 337, 500. 500. See? 07. 07. 500. 500. Okay, they were saying 500. For the allowance for year four. I hope this is clear, okay? The, what, don't forget here, the total amount you can claim is what you spend. You spend 800, but you got back 30. Therefore, your net expenditure is therefore 770. Okay, that's therefore come there for the allowance from year one all the way to year four. Therefore, the tax saving is that percent of the allowance, okay? Therefore, the tax saving is 30% of the, the tax rate times the allowance, okay? Will you therefore give us 6,000 year one, 45,000 in year two. How much in year three? Yeah, three. That percent of the allowance. Thirty-three seven fifty. That's three seven fifty, and finally a four. Ninety-two two fifty. Ninety-two two fifty. Okay, because for the tax saving, they can make it from year one all the way to uh, year four. Okay. Any working that we need to do another working? I think we're done with working. So okay, this this was a pretty easy question. Anyway, so. Um, the cost of capital, which is the, our discounting rate, okay, for now you can do it, okay, because there's, there's a topic you have done that. That's the last paragraph, you can do it. But either way, the cost of capital, you're going to be using. The financing uh, uh, will be as follow. Uh, you're going to be obtaining 8% of the company finance will be from shareholders, 8% from shareholder, and the shareholder want a return of uh, 11%. The balance, 20%, in okay, case 0 0.2, Will count for the holders, okay, whose cost is equal to 8.6 percent. However, don't forget debt is tax deductible, therefore, the cost of the company, therefore, 
is only 20%, okay? Therefore, what do you get there with the cost of capital of the company? Uh, could you please repeat this part? Yes, that's what I was trying to avoid because we have not done this topic as per se. But let me just 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 repeat what I've done here. Uh, of the eight hundred thousand, eighty percent come from equity, twenty percent comes from debt. In this case, uh, 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 this is going to be from debt finance. Okay, there's equity, there's debt. Okay, the equity share how how much do they want per year? They want eleven percent. Debt holder, what do they want per year? They want eight point six percent. Okay. However, don't forget that is tax deductible. Okay, we we normally before ta ta uh, taxing the profit, we need first to reduce it by the profit by the interest you pay. Therefore, the cost of the company is therefore less of the saving, which is thirty percent. Okay. Okay, for not only too much. Okay, was well, the topic that we have to, which we have not yet done together. And you get how much? Ten point. Mm, then is a question. So, yes. I got 1.292. Hey, one point. It can be one point. Um, let me just try again. Try again, try again. So I got 0 0.10004. In percent? Um, 10%. How much? 10. 10%. 10%. Okay. 10%. Okay, fair enough. Therefore, cost of capital is 10%, which you will be using uh, to discount the cash flows from the project. 10%. Okay. And I think you're done with the workings. Okay. You're done with the workings. Therefore, you can present. Therefore, here we are showing a solution uh, in order to get the NPV. So we have year one, year two. Uh, year three, year four. When do you pay tax? Do you pay the same year or do you pay tax ten years? Yes, the company pays tax one year in arrears, okay, as per the second last paragraph there. So therefore the tax for year four is paid in year five. Therefore, I need to include year five. Tax for year one is paid in year two. It's paid in arrears, one year in arrears. Okay. Therefore, I begin here by getting the contribution the cash inflow, and that is the excess of uh, sales we get over the cost we incurred, okay, which was year one for 40, year two, 550, uh, year three, 550, huh? year three was, how much, 660, year 660, okay, not 550, 660, and year four, 660, okay, the contribution. Then we have fixed cost, okay, which is, which is incremental, Okay, don't forget fixed. You have to be quite be careful with the fixed cost because if it is normal fixed cost, okay, then we ignore it. Okay, but however, if it is an incremental fixed cost, then you ought to include it. So, is it incremental? Yes, because this to say this to 40,000 is for the new machine only. Okay, therefore, it is therefore incremental. Year one to 40, year two, what's year two? Year two fixed cost, how much? 260. 260, of course, 260, okay? 280, okay, and 300. Okay, that is from year one all the way to year four. Therefore, uh, the profit, okay, you can say the profit that is sellable tax, therefore, uh, year one, 200, year two, 290. Okay, year three, uh, that is um, 380, I guess. And year four is equal to 360, yes. Then you pay tax, okay? We assume that in case there's no allowance, okay? How much tax will you be paid? Okay, tax. 
question. Yes, yes, Brian. Is the fixed cost supposed to be incremental since we, or we take the whole for the combined machine? Not only by incremental, because yes, it is only incremental because it's only for the new machine. What do you mean by incremental? Oh, it's okay, I've seen. Okay, don't the forget the forty thousand. Yes, uh -huh. don't forget that forty thousand is only for the new machine. This is only for the new machine. Okay, not for the old machine. But in case this is total fixed cost for both the new machine and the old machine, then they become therefore irrelevant. Okay, so you have, if for example, we have the old machine, the fixed cost. Let me just give an example. A fixed cost at the old machine. This call them called the old machine was let's say <clears throat> two hundred. The two combined, <clears throat> the old plus new. If it was to forty. The only relevant part for the new machine is extra. In this case, the 40,000. But this entire 240 is for the new machine only. Therefore, the entire of it, therefore, the relevant cost. Okay. And it will thereafter, it increased by 20,000. Therefore, to 60, to 80, and 300. Okay. So be careful. Don't take here 20 because I've seen to do that. Okay. Uh, they do here 20, 20, 20. No, that's wrong. Okay. Because the entire 260 is for the new machine only. Okay. So don't do like, like uh, those students. So the entire course is the fifth course is for the a new for the entire machine. Okay. Yes. Okay. Then you pay tax now. Okay. Tax at a rate of thirty percent. Don't forget the tax is in arrears. Therefore, tax for your one is paid in year two. The tax for your one we are meant to pay a thirty percent of two hundred. Therefore, you pay how much? Sixty. Tax for you, that percent of 200, we 60, isn't it? Yes. Yes, 60. Okay, however, it is paid for in the yeah. month, in the next year. Okay, next year. Cash outflow, don't forget. Okay. Therefore, tax for your two is paid in year three, <coughs> which is 290 times uh, 6 percent, which is 80. Uh, 380, okay, times 30 percent, you as a much. 114. 114. 114. 114. 114. Then the tax we have for is paid in year five. They are paid in, in arrears. One year later. Okay, one year in arrears. Therefore, how much? 108. 108. 108. Cash flow. However, we have tax savings. We have the tax deduction. They have a tax saving. Now, since this, uh, these are tax based, they are also in arrears. These are tax bills, therefore, they're so in arrears. Therefore, the saving, therefore, the saving for year one is for year two. Therefore, the year one saving from a calculation got 60, therefore, it is in a felt in year two, then 45, okay, um, 34, and 92. Okay, no, these are tax saving, they're tax based, therefore, they also gain me in. Okay, then you have scrap value at the end of the life of the machine, that is year four, we are going to dispose of the, this machine and earn some money. In this case, you're going to be earning 30,000 from the disposal of this machine. There is no working capital, okay? We don't have any other cash flow. That is it. Yeah, that is it, okay? Very easy question. Then you have cash flow for year one, year two, year three, year four, year five. You get the cash flow. We just come back to your zero at the company cost of capital, which in this case, uh, from a calculation, we got 10%. Okay, you use the factor from the tables, then you get the present value, the 0 0.909, okay, 0 0.826, I guess, 0 0.751, 0 0.68, I'm not sure what it is, 68 something, 0 0.6 to something. Okay, these are from the tables. Okay, year one, year two, year three. Year four, year five. Multiply the cash flow. In this example, it's 200. You get 181. Okay. Year one, year two, year three, year four, year five. Okay. Then you get the sum to get the NPV, sum of present value of cash flows, the one you've just done above here, minus initial cost. 
okay the initial cost that the, this given the npv therefore will be the sum okay from calculation minus the initial cost is eight hundred thousand therefore we'll get the npv once you have the npv and now you can give the advice to the company yeah the npv <clears throat> so question one that's we have done that hmm. Most of the question will be asked. The case will be having uh, a case of inflation, so which uh, we are yet to discuss. Like this example, uh, is asking us to get the NPV. However, there is inflation in the question, uh, which we'll discuss it alone. For example, we have five percent inflation. Okay, yet to discuss that. So for now, let's leave it alone. Into a question where there is no inflation, so we can get one. Okay, so most questions will be inflation. So. Uh, don't worry in case I just keep some few questions here and there. Mm -hmm. Is there inflation here? I hope not. Ah, there is inflation. So let's keep it also. Mm -hmm. Is there inflation here? Uh, this, is, this is a native you have not done. Okay, well, appraisal. NPV. Let's see. I hope there's no inflation here. Let's see. Ah. There's inflation there also. Inflation, inflation. There is inflation also there. So for most questions that you can fight, there will be inflation. So uh, quite unlikely are you going to have many questions without inflation? But let's see. Oh, there's no inflation here. In the machine scrub, 5%. Uh, 11. Uh, in area, that was in areas. Okay, and this is a question. Okay, can do this. What in company in page 29? What in company in page 29? Okay. What in company in page 29? So go through it, then we discuss together. Let's attempt to do it together. <clears throat> so we been asked here to get the NPV of the project. Uh, and I guess it's a pretty easy question. But in the way, let's do it together. Okay, give me a minute as I track the question. <clears throat> Warden Company. Warden. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've seen it. Okay, so you're going to get the NPV for the company. Okay, the company plans to buy a new machine, uh, costing 800, working capital 900 squared at the start of the first year operation. Uh, zero five years so draw for five percent okay there was scrap value we can begin there there was scrap value so this is what in company okay scrap value is equal to five percent of the current price eight hundred thousand and this gives for forty thousand they have the company sell this machine and then we have five for forty thousand Okay, uh, machine not be replaced. Okay, therefore, that means therefore, uh, we need to recover the working capital. The sales should be 100,000 per year, each unit 16, volume cost 11. Therefore, increment of contribution to be earned for the new machine will be equal to the contribution per unit will be equal to $16. Valuable cost is 11, therefore, it remain with five. Okay. And be told that the number of units per year will be 100,000, therefore multiply by 100,000 units therefore, per year. Therefore, let's give therefore a contribution of $500,000. Okay. Fixed cost, you'll be told it will be 60. Therefore, net, uh, let's say, uh, profit or cash flow for taxation. Let me just call them cash flow before taxation. Okay. 
maybe equal to the contribution okay minus fixed cost minus fixed cost which will give therefore five hundred thousand sorry five thousand minus the um, fixed cost which is one six thousand one six thousand per year what will remain therefore per year and therefore 340,000 for those five years. This five for four years. For those five years. For those five years. Okay. Tax uh, uh, is paid one in arrears. No capital allowances. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there's a question for sure. Okay. Can have then have here. Uh, can have here. Year one, year two, year three, year four, year five. The tax is paid in arrears. Therefore, we can have here, have here six here. Then can say come here cash flow before taxation. Cash flow before tax. Every year is 340,000. So let me have them in thousands. 340, 340, 340. Every year the same. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Uh, I don't understand why you remove fixed cost from contribution. Fixed cost, why you remove the fixed cost? Because this fixed cost is for the machine only. Increment of fixed cost is one six thousand per year. Can you see that part? Wait. Increment of fixed cost. Can you see that part? Written increment of fixed cost. Second paragraph, last line. Yes. Have you seen it? Yes. Don't forget. Therefore, this is increment of fixed cost. Therefore, it is therefore relevant cost. Clear. So are we always supposed to remove the incremental fixed cost from the contribution? Always. Yes, because it's a cash outflow, because it's money you're paying. Okay. Therefore, you need to remove it. Because it's, it's money you're paid, it's money out of the out of the out of the business. Yes, you you, you should always. But in the last question, the fixed costs were incremental, but we did not remove them. Which last question? The dual company one. This one. Yes. We removed it here. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yes, we did remove it here. Okay. Don't forget if there's any incremental fixed cost, you remove it. Okay. If fixed if the fixed cost is not incremental, then don't remove it. Okay. Uh okay. Well, always clear. Thank you. Okay, good. Okay. Then let's pay tax. Okay. No, you pay tax and you're paying tax at a rate of uh, 30%, I guess. Yes, mm, yes, that percent per year. Okay. Year one, no paying of tax. They hold because tax for year is paid year two. 40 times that percent you get one or four one or two one or two okay one or two cash out flow for every year one or two therefore in the six we have here one or two you pay one or six also here then there's no tax saving however we have scrap value okay Scrap value which will be in year five, which we got 40. 40. And uh, um, work in capital, work in capital. Uh, you've been told that you'd invest work in capital uh, in the first year, at the start of first year, which is year zero. Start of year one is year zero, uh, and you invest 90,000. However, in the final year, don't forget about working capital, you recover working capital. Therefore, in the final year, we recover working capital. Therefore, we have a cash inflow of 90. Because in year zero, you are investing. In the final year, you are recouping all your initial working capital, uh, initial working capital, which you have already invested. Therefore, in the final year, the cash inflow. Okay. And that is it. Okay. Cash flow. Okay. Year one, year two, year three, year four. Yes, Brian. Is is it said in the question we will recover the working capital? Yes, because the machine will not be replaced. Can you see that last line in uh, the first paragraph? The machine will not be replaced. Yes, that's a hint to tell you that at the end of the life of this machine, uh, if you have any stock remaining, you dispose it off. Mm -hmm. you, there's no continuation in short. Do you get it? Uh, so in case yes. the machine will be replaced, if for, this, if for instance, the statement was machine will be replaced, then we don't need to recover the working capital because it's a continuation. You get it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. So here, we both the machine will not be replaced if you have any stock remaining, clear it off, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, and the final year. 
Three sixty eight. Three sixty eight. Yes. It is come back to your zero, and the company cost of capital, which in this case is equal to how much? Uh, the cost of capital is eleven percent. Eleven percent present value. Okay. You get the factors on the table. Okay. And by now I know you're next. You are, you are experts. And you read in the table. 0 0.89 something, which I, I don't know. So, so year one, year two, year three, year four, year five. Cash flow to the factor, cash flow the factor, get the present value. NPV to be sum of present value okay, of cash flows. You want to obtain above minus initial cost. The initial cost of investment is equal to. Mm, initial cost we spent to buy this machine. Uh, we spent uh, eight hundred thousand. It would be there for minus eight hundred thousand. However, we also spent. We also did invest ninety thousand. Okay, towards the working capital. Therefore, we need to also to include the ninety thousand and get the NPV. So get the NPV. Then we give the address to the company. So I got 103. Okay, we get to 103. So this you get 9, 983, the sum of present values. Yes. Get 103. Okay, I guess that's what I got also. What do you have? <clears throat> the others confirm that answer. Sanya, what do you have? So, just one second, almost. So why are we adding 90, the working capital? No, we are subtracting. Look, it is in bracket. Yeah, as in like, why are you adding? Yes. Oh, okay, okay, no, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we are subtracting, not adding. You get it. Not 102. 102, 103, 102, okay, okay. Don't the difference. Yeah, I got nine. Uh, what do you have? Oh, nine, 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 two. Okay, great. One o three, one o two. Days, what do you have? Days, what do you have? Okay. This is away. Brian, what do you have? I have one thirty. One thirty. Hey, okay. Uh, let me okay. Okay, let's, let me let me get someone to read for us the present value. Then you can make a comparison. 
uh, is Nafisa, you're going to give us the present values. Year one. 306. 306, okay, 193, 194, 154, 177, 157, 215, 215, 215, 215, 215, 215, 215, 215, 215, 215, 215, Calculator, let me check. Which year, which year you have a difference? All the years have a difference of like three, 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 three. Like, I don't know. Hey, hey, okay, take it out. <laughs> so, mine also for year two is 191. One ninety one. Yeah. Who's the factor? Zero point. One ninety one, one seventy one. I've used two thirty eight times zero point eight zero. Yeah, eight zero four. Okay, and you get you got one ninety one. Yeah, I got one ninety one. And uh, I've seen the. Oh, sorry. 238 by the third factor is 0 0.722, 171 as well. Okay. The 174. I've seen the problem. I was using 10 instead of 11%. Are you using 10 instead of 11%? Wow, okay. Take it out again then. Okay. You see that these answers are very different. What's happening here? We need to. So for the factors, um, yes. for year two, it's 0 0.812. Not zero no. Four. Hey, Daisy, check it, check it, check it. So one, two. Yes, like that, yeah. Uh, okay. And for year one is 0 0.901. Uh, 901. Yeah, yeah, it's my factors then. That's why I have the whole thing. Okay. okay. Let's fix them again. Okay, let's give that for what will, be, uh, what will be the MPB for this particular company. Okay, if we discount those cash flows at 11%. Okay, the advice, therefore, okay, the company should, don't forget, always you advise the company. These are marks by the our advising, and most of the time you uh, you forget to advise the company. After done this analysis, okay, don't forget to always give the advice. The company should uh, invest in the project or in the machine, okay. Change it has a positive MPV of one or three or one or two thousand. Yeah. Question. Okay, and that's what you are making it done in that particular question. Okay, most of the time, this marks their free marks in short. Okay, uh, so uh, I don't think this we sell that should uh, worry so much. Okay, we shall do more question definitely so that you can get uh, a good grip of uh, hang on on what we are, it is expected of you, even in the main exam. Okay. Uh, don't forget these questions will be uh, through Excel. So I think the next time we meet, uh, we discuss how therefore do we present uh, uh, our NPV in Excel because in there will be part C more or less will be more of part C quest type of questions. Question. Okay, if there's no question, then I guess we can end the class here. Uh, we meet next week. No, we meet on Friday. We meet on Friday. Uh, for the cut. So we agreed we shall meet at 8.15, okay? So be there on time so that we uh, begin the, uh, the, the exam on time. Sir? Okay, then see you tomorrow. Then. Yes, yes. You, you'll send a link for Friday? It's on the email. Okay, anyway, I will, I will send the link. Yes, I'll set it up. I'll set it up. Yes. Okay. But, okay. but the, the cut will be on the e-learning. So, uh, so be, oh. ensure that you can go to access it. Okay. 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 Ok
Okay, okay. That time. Okay, okay, fine. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. So be... Yes. Uh, could you also please send us the videos because I got I got some problem yeah. in the in some parts. So I have to look at it again. Okay, yes. Tomorrow I'm free, so I'll I'll, I'll sit down. They take time to set to to upload them, but tomorrow I'll sit down and upload them on 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 on, up, on the YouTube. So I'll, I'll do so tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Yes, yes. In case, um, if by four in the afternoon I've not sent them, uh, you can remind me. Okay. Thank you. Okay, great. Okay, then see you tomorrow. Then I'll see you.